I'm so bored, Emma. It's so boring around here without Clara. Yeah, like I've said many times before, I hate Clara. She's so annoying, but it's a little boring around here. Hey, girls. Oh, hi, Mommy. So, I just have to go to the mall quick. I just have to pick up a few things. I'm going to leave you girls with the babysitter. Oh, yay! We get to see Addy again. Actually, girls, we're going to try out a new babysitter. I don't know how I feel about Addy watching you guys anymore because I told her that Clara was going to be here, but then Clara went missing, so we're going to try out a new babysitter, and her name is Vicky. Oh, okay. Is she nice? Yes, I'm sure she's really nice. She's 16 years old. Oh, cool. I hope she's as nice and fun as Addie. Oh, that must be Vicky. Bye, girls. Oh. <gasps> How old are you girls? Um, I'm six and I'm five. Why does that matter so much? <gasps> Ew! Why did I agree with this? You guys are menaces to society. You are Generation Alpha. Give me those ponies and watch Skippity Toilet now! Why would we do that? We were already playing with those ponies. You also hit my sister in the head with one. Yeah, why is it such a big deal that we're like five and six? Didn't you read the sitter's notes first? Oh, I don't read that stuff, but you girls can't be playing with ponies because Generation Alpha doesn't know what ponies are. They only watch Skibbity Toilet and go to Sephora. So watch it. <clears throat> what does the year I'm born in have to do with Skibbity Toilet? That makes no sense. I don't even like it. Um, I can't understand you because, like, kids are stupid and they don't know how to talk properly. This is all I hear coming out of your mouth. <laughs> so shut up and watch something. You, like, you don't even, like, you have no potential. Ow! Hey, you're, like, abusing my sister. I'm telling my mom about all of this. Oh, no, you won't. I'm never coming back here again. Anyways. Ah! You can your job properly you didn't read the sitter's notes you're abusing us you're discriminating us over something we can't control you're using harmful stereotypes on us i'm not afraid to say it you are the worst babysitter i've ever had <laughs> now you girls are gonna sit on the floor and you're gonna watch some tv what is this it's really scary i don't know if i like this well, you are Generation Alpha, and you are Skippity Toilet Kids, so watch it. Do what you're supposed to do. I'm leaving. You kids are stupid, so you need someone to take care of you, but I don't want to take care of you, so I'm out. Finally, I don't have to watch those stupid kids anymore. I hate kids, and it's not like I'm a kid or anything. I'm just going to listen to some music and play it really loud so I can't hear those stupid Generation Alpha kids. And I'll just, like, come back when their mom comes home and act all good. This is an absolute banger. There's no way we're watching that. I mean, I have nothing against it because it's not affecting me. It's just not my kind of show. And I don't think we should be forced to watch it. Do you want to paint our faces instead with our face paint? Yeah, sure. Good idea. I'll go get it. All right. I have the markers. Do you want to draw on my face first? Yeah, definitely. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, all done. Here's how you look. No way. I look just, like, I literally look identical to Melanie Martinez. You did a great job, Stephanie. Hey, you little brats. <gasps> Is she wearing makeup? Is that five-year-old wearing makeup? Uh, yeah, it's face paint. What's the big deal? Sephora kid! Sephora kid! She's a ten-year-old who goes to Sephora! She's not ten. She's five. I don't care! She's rude to employees! She destroys the tester because she's a kid and she's wearing makeup! Get that off! Get that off! Have to come off! Oh no! You're a menace! You're a menace! Ugh, just grab a makeup wipe! You're literally tackling my face! Get it off! Chill out and stop attacking my sister! 
sister. I have a makeup wipe. See? It just comes right off. It's not a big deal. I don't care if it comes off. You girls are Generation Alpha. You are stupid. You follow stupid trends. You're brain rotted. I hate you. You are menaces to society. I hate you so much. You should not be in Sephora's. Neither should you. Every single one of you individual human beings who is a part of a generation destroys testers at Sephora. I'm sick of it. You stupid kids. Go. Go play with a pony and have a real childhood you're wasting your childhood that's it i have i've had enough of your abuse i think that you follow tiktok and listen to tiktok trends and stereotypes way too much you have to keep in mind that children like us are human beings too and you're 16 so you're a child too well you may be a teenager teenagers are children they're just older children so you're a child just like me there's nothing wrong with being a child. We're human beings, too. And if you're an adult or a child or a teen or a baby or a toddler, we are all individuals no matter what. Well, you may see 10-year-olds at Sephora being disrespectful to the employees and destroying testers. There's many other people of many other ages, too, who do the same thing. I'm sure adults make smoothies with the testers. I'm sure teens like you make smoothies with the testers. It's just a coincidence that there are many 10-year-olds doing it. Not every 10-year-old in the world even has access to a Sephora, so you can't generalize every single one of those individual human beings for doing the same thing and even if a young child is wearing makeup there's nothing wrong with that makeup is a form of art and it's just something you could use to express your creativity you know you could make different characters with it on your face you could give yourself different looks it's so much fun that's what i did with my sister emma we were just trying to have fun be creative and express ourselves just because we're a part of a certain generation doesn't mean we follow certain trends and certain rules and like certain things it's all just terrible, terrible stereotypes. No matter the generation you're born in, we are all individuals. And not all of us are the same. Not everyone follows the same trend. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, she's right. And same goes for skincare in Sephora and Drunk Elephant. Maybe 10-year-olds shouldn't be using Drunk Elephant because it's a little harsh for their skin, but... They're individual human beings. They're in control of themselves, so they could choose which direction they want to go in. And there's nothing wrong with 10-year-olds using skincare, as long as it's safe for their young skin, because 10-year-olds usually around that age start getting acne, and it's important to take care of it, because it could hurt sometimes. And, like... Even if you have perfect skin, there's social norms. Like, we get bullied in school for playing with dolls and playing with Barbies and playing with ponies. We're kind of, you know, looked at like we should be using skincare and we should be following different trends by our peers our age. So it's sort of just peer pressure, too, that's pressuring us into following these trends, some of us. So, really, there's not a problem. No, 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 I don't care. I'm out. Uh, I hope we taught that teenager a lesson. And keep in mind that not all teenagers follow those stereotypes. Not all teenagers are judgmental about that stuff. Some teenagers are highly against it. We're all individuals. Ow, my head really hurts from being thrown around so much. Um, Emma, I think that's because your forehead is bleeding. Hey, girls! Oh my gosh, Emma, what happened to your head? Where's the babysitter? Where's Vicky? It's a really long story, Mom. And Vicky left. Please don't ever hire her again. Let's just go back to Addie. Well, little did Vicky know that I actually put security cameras all over the house since this is our first time with her. So let's watch the footage. 
Let's check out this video of Emma from earlier. Just grab a makeup wipe! What? Tackle in my face! Get it off! What? See, Mom, we told you. Don't worry, girls. We're gonna go back to Addie. We won't be trying out any new babysitters that I don't know again. I'm really, really sorry this happened. I will get you all cleaned up, Emma. And I will be reporting this girl, Vicky, to the police. And oh my goodness, she left the house such a mess. There's a stool, there's crayons on the ground, the desk is messy, the table's knocked over, and there's face paint on the floor. There's also a Princess Luna over there on the ground. I don't know what happened in here. Thank you so much, Mom. I know Addie made a mistake, but hopefully she can be forgiven. We could let go of the past, and I think she deserves to be forgiven. You're right, Stephanie. Addie did make a mistake, but she's a very nice girl, and everybody deserves a second chance. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys learned something about harmful stereotypes and, you know, just because something is trending and people find it funny, maybe even you find it funny, doesn't mean it's okay. Stereotyping is the root cause for many terrible major social problems, so you shouldn't stereotype or generalize anyone or anything. It's really not nice. Bye for now!